Hey everybody, I've got uh, an exciting video for you. Uh, and I guess I'm not holding the camera the way I wish I was, but this was just gonna be a uh, first look and uh, kind of my first impression of the new Spinolution Abe, which you see here in the middle. And I did, I wanted to pull back so I could show you. And I will do an official like treadle comparison, everything between all of my wheels, but I did just want to show you with the ones I think are most similar. So in the middle is the Abe, and then this is my Echo, and then that is my Polywog. And people, this is probably the question I've most gotten is like size comparison. As you see, it's much closer in size to the Echo than it is to the Polywog. So the Polywog is definitely still your smallest, most travel friendly, stick in a beach bag. Uh, you can see all my dirty feet prints. I need to clean my poor little polywog. Uh, so you can see it's gone to the beach with me several times and it's still holding up good. So uh, you can see the Abe is definitely closer in size to the Echo than it is to the polywog. And you can also see that the Abe is currently unfinished. So it does not have, um, you can see it's the same wood but I have not, you get to stain your own uh, Abe. So I actually think I'm gonna do mine pink and call it Rosie, like Rosie the Riveter, I think is where I'm going with that. And also the Abe has the uh, black parts, which I think you may have an option when it's officially listed on July 1st to maybe pick the colors. Mine is black. So, um, and then this is the Echo, which of course is all finished. So you can just see color wise, the difference the stain would make. All of the regular Spinolution line wheels come fully, uh, you know, finished with the stain on them. So that's why they've got that pretty kind of light buttery blonde color. And then the Abe is definitely paler. But here, let me, I just wanted to kind of do an introduction here. So the idea with the Abe and the reason this is a new uh, bobbin size flyer head. This one is a 33 ounce. You can see it says 33 ounce right there. It's a uh, 33 ounce bobbin. And it reminds me of like the uh, a bigger version of the uh, 12 ounce bobbin that you could get to go on the poly where it's shorter and fatter. <laughs> so you can see in comparison to the, uh, this is a wooden 16 ounce bobbin. They actually look really similar. The uh, 33 is just bigger around. But, you know, lengthwise, very, you know, they're the same. Um, so that is it shown with the 3D. And there definitely are a lot of new things, new technology that comes with the Abe. So the first thing you'll notice is the uh, flyer head and the bobbin is all 3D printed. So anything you see that's black is the uh, plastic, and you can see all the cool layers in it, the uh, 3D printed plastic. So anything black is 3D printed, which is really cool. It's very lightweight, even though it is very big. Um, and it will come with a lot of different flyer head size options. So you can see in comparison, this is an eight ounce flyer head option, all 3D printed. And this is the 33. So they're the same depth. So you see how you can easily change them out because they're the same depth. They're just going to be a much different, um, you know, bobbin. So that's the 33 ounce bobbin. This is the eight ounce bobbin. So, and you can see the 33 is, is way bigger. Um, so that's the one I have on here right now. The treadle pedals, it has uh, 3D printed treadle pedals, which, like I said, once again, excuse how dirty. This is for my first wheel and I'm terrible and never clean it. <laughs> my poly one has the little dirty treadles, the little toe treadles. And like I said, I'm not even going to apologize for it anymore. I love this little wheel and it's been used a whole bunch. So the poly treadle, or like the little toe treadles, the 3D printed treadle base on these are the treadle covers. And they're a nice, slick, wider, you know, so if you are turned off by the idea of the little toe treadles, which I love the toe treadles personally, but if you wanted something that was more similar size to the Echo and the other bigger wheels, these do come with attachable, uh, you know, 3D printed toe treadles. It's got a uh, 
base that's really interesting. It cut instead of uh, like I said, I'll do an official comparison video, but you can see how on like the Echo it comes out and it's more of a squared off base. Same with the Poly. This one's more of like a uh, kickstand almost style base, which is definitely very different from any of the other wheels that we've had that I've seen. It does have, uh, let's see, another difference. The treadle, I mean, the way they spin. This one is a back and forth lobster claw action. This one is a up and down polywog foot action, which I love. Y'all know I have much love for the polywog. I just love how it works. <laughs> so that's how that one works. This one is very similar to the Monarch. I keep calling it a baby Monarch um, with the way, so if you have a Monarch or you've been watching Monarch videos, you know, you are familiar with how that works with this ball bearing that goes up and down and takes it around in a circle. So like I said, that is how it reminds me of a, a baby monarch in that way. So that's how the front of it looks. And uh, it treadles very smooth and very quiet, as you can see. And I will do more official videos. I just was wanting to tease everybody. And I mean, I'm not even touching it. <laughs> So, yeah, I mean, like, with all of the uh, Spinolution wheels, I mean, they literally spin themselves. So, I mean, once they get going, I don't even know what gear this thing's in. It just spins and spins and spins. Um, so, I mean, it, it's great. I really, it's very fun. I am uh, have already started putting it together. Well, it's already together, obviously. I have made a, um, I've made a step-by-step kind of tips for putting it together that I'm going to do in a, uh, I don't know, three or four video series so you can easily jump to what part you would want to, uh, you know, need help on. So I do have a, I did video putting it together and I'm going to stain it, but y'all know how I am. It could take me like two months to get around to picking the stain, buying the stain and actually staining it because we're really busy this summer. It's very pretty. I said the wood grain on it. I mean, it's it's beautiful as is, and considering I'm not taking it to like a grassy field to spin or anything, you know, I'm not worried about it getting hurt in my uh, my house. <laughs> but I will probably stain it. And I did have I'm gonna do a uh, blog series to go with the putting it together series with just. Um, you know, I, of course, already made several mistakes myself while putting it together. So I tried to document those mistakes for the, uh, you know, sake of education. <laughs> so, um, I will put those up soon and those will not be live. Don't worry. And, um, it's really pretty. Like I said, I just want, as far as size can, this was the other question I've gotten most often is you can see the orifice height on the echo. It is ever so slightly shorter. I mean, if it's any shorter than the echo, it's by like, a quarter of an inch maybe so it's very similar in height on the echo what type of whirl it is the here I will bend it back down the black whirl Where is she? Um, which is what all of the new wheels are going to be going to um, versus the golden so all this is the black diamond 3d printed whirl but it's the same, uh, you know, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six gears. So you definitely, and I know the Poly has updated a bunch since my poor old Poly. Mine has like three gears. <laughs> but it comes with six gears. And like I said, it's the same height. If anybody else has any other questions, you can see the orifice height on the Poly. And the Poly is like way down here. So, <laughs> and definitely taller than a Polywog. Um and it does have, it is is much more lightweight than this Echo. Like when I just moved them here, like this one requires much more like oomph to get it up than this one. And I think that was the idea with the lightweight uh, base at the bottom. And it's got a cool extra feature on the back that I will do a video on. It is a new piece of technology I will just tease you with called a tension fan. So it does still have the tension block, but it also has a tension fan, which is you would use one versus the other. And uh, the idea is that that is for very, very light tension for people that spin very, very fine yarn. 
I do not spin very, very fine yarn, so I honestly will probably just primarily use the tension block, but this is a new thing Spin Lucian has designed, and they're excited about it, so that will also be on the Abe. So more official videos to come, but that is your first uh, teaser video of the Abe in action. And if you have any specific questions, please post them on the bottom of this video and I will answer them in a future video. How does the fan work? Haha. -ha. Well, you will have to stay tuned for that because it's more complicated than I'm getting into right now. Actually, it's not very complicated. The idea is um, the flyer head, I don't have the band on it right now. As this, the flyer head turns, it turns this gear. So there's three gears here and then there's gears here. And you, so you can adjust it, which I haven't quite gotten the that figured out myself yet, which is why I'm not ready to answer that question. But um, the idea is that it, this then turns this, and then just a little bit of resistance from the fan helps to just gradually put tension on it versus more serious tension of a block. So, yeah, it's very cool. I don't quite feel smart enough to explain it better than that. You've <laughs> been waiting to spin frog hair. Excellent. If you want to spin finer than frog hair, my dad always says that. Uh, says something's finer than uh, frog hair. Then uh, the new fan, which I don't want to talk out of turn, but I think there will be options for all the wheels, not just the Abe. But it's debuted on the Abe, and please don't hold me to that because I'm not the one that makes those decisions. But yep, post all your questions, and I will make sure they get answered. And uh, it will officially, before I forget, officially be available July 1st. Um, if you are dying to know about buying one right at this moment, please comment below or email me. Um, and I can be happy to answer that for you. It will officially be on my website to purchase on July 1st. Um, so more official comparison and price videos. There actually are going to be different package options, which is why I can't give you like a, it costs this much because they're actually, and I didn't know it was going to go that way, but I think it's cool. There's different options you can buy. There's an accelerator option that I don't have. Um, but you know, similar to the, what you're used to seeing with an accelerator option, the fan, it's got a lazy Kate. Uh, oh yeah, I totally forgot to show you. There's a lazy Kate. Hold on. And yeah, so it's got this little sideways lazy Kate that goes down the back. So that's what it looks like from the back. It's got the Lazy Kate and the fan. So anyhow, there will be options. <laughs> there will be options um, and actually package options like our larger wheels, which I think is cool. I didn't know they were gonna do that. So um, the prices will range greatly depending on, um, you know, if you get just a wheel, a wheel with a small head, a wheel with a big head, the accelerator, the lazy, you know, depending on what you want. And uh, if you get a just a wheel or just a studio package, the price will range. But um, it is definitely, I just looked at the math, the Polywog is still definitely the least expensive, but it is also the most small. So, you know, I mean, that makes sense because it's just physically a smaller item. Um, but as far as most bang for your buck, as far as uh, size wise, the uh, Abe is definitely, because it is more of a DIY situation, is definitely uh, well situated. <laughs> and um, then the Echo is very similar in size, but obviously is a much heavier, much more wood involved, um, you know, just from a supply standpoint, you can see why the Echo would then be more pricey. But um, so yes, if you are dying to know, then message me or email me, and I'd be happy to, uh, we can we can talk about orders now, but it is officially available on July 1st. So if you're seeing this after July 1st, <laughs> I will have a link somewhere below this video, and you can go click there, and you can go buy one. You can see all the prices, and I promise I will sell it to you. So anyway, have a good one.